Welcome to the Nutsa Tools video tutorial series created by the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. This tutorial covers RW Site Info, one of the tools in the Silk Analysis Tool Suite. RW Site Info prints information from the silk.conf site configuration file. For example, here I'm looking at the sensors, types, and classes available in my Silk installation. You can see that I have two sensors, S0 and S1, 11 types, which are the same for each sensor, and only one class, which holds both sensors. Sensor, type, and class are just three of the fields that can be specified in RW Site Info. Class is a grouping of sensors. Type is the direction and classification of the flow, such as in web, out, or for router. Flow type is a combination of class and type and ID flow type is the numerical identifier for a flow type. You can also view sensor name, numerical ID, or description if available in the silk config file. You can view the default class and type, or you can tell RW Site Info to mark the defaults with a plus sign for the default classes and an asterisk for the default types. Repo start date is the earliest date for a file in the repository that matches the other values in the row. And repo end date is the latest date for a file that matches the other values in the row. Repo file count is the number of files in the repository that match the other values in the row. You can also print many of these fields as lists, that is, list all the values on a single row. Here's the syntax for RW Site Info. You saw in the first example that I used the field switch to specify that I wanted to see the sensor, type, and class. The field switch is required. The classes switch will let you limit the output to a specific class or set of classes. The type switch will let you limit the output to a specific type or set of types. Flow types lets you limit to a specific set of flow types. You cannot use flow type switch with the classes or type switch. And sensors lets you limit to a specific set of sensors. The data root dir switch lets you specify a repository location different from the default set by your environment variables. List delimiter lets you change the separator for the lists from the default comma to any other character. Site config file and timestamp format are two of the common switches that you can learn about in our Common Switches and Silk Tools tutorial video. And here are some pretty printing options that you can learn more about in our Pretty Printing in Silk video tutorial. RW Site Info has a help switch and a help fields switch, which prints descriptions for each of the available fields. And lastly, it has a version switch. Let's take a closer look at how RW Site Info works. So we've already seen RW Site Info with the field switch and a few basic fields. If I type rwsiteinfo-help-fields, I can see all the available fields for this switch. Let's try rwsiteinfo-fields equals sensor, id sensor, describe sensor. So one of my sensors is the blue team sensor and the other is the red team sensor. Let's look at the defaults for each sensor. It's important to know what your defaults are so that you don't misinterpret your analysis. I could have marked the defaults instead with the Mark Defaults switch. Here you can see the plus sign marks every flow type because there's only one class, which is the default. The asterisks mark the types that are default. Sometimes it's more convenient to look at these fields as lists. For example, I can see the default types in a list per sensor.
You can use multiple lists at once. But in this case, it only gives me one row because the default types on both sensors are the same. I can see when the first and last flow files are without having to comb through the directory by giving it the repo start and end fields. For example, if I want to see first and last file as well as the number of files per type, I can do rwsite info dash dash fields equals type repo start repo end and repo file count. So those are your field options. Let's take a look at a couple of the other switches. I can do rwsite info dash dash help to remind myself what those are. There are several switches up here that allow me to limit by sensor, class, type, or flow type. These are particularly useful if you have a lot of sensors on your network, or if you're only concerned about flows through one particular sensor. For example, I can limit my output to results from sensor 1 only. If I had several sensors I wanted to look at, I could add them here with commas. That summarizes RWSite info. Thank you for watching this video tutorial from our Netza Tools video tutorial series.